Today, we're going to take a look at an easy way to get your MIG welder settings just right for auto body repair and any other project you're working on. The welder we'll be using today is a Miller Millermatic 90, runs on 110 and uses 0 0.023 inch wire. This is the chart that came along with the welder and it says set the gas to 20 CFH or cubic feet per hour. Let me show you how to do that first. In case you're interested, this is the bottom half of that welder settings chart. To set the gas, turn the gas on, and pull the trigger on the gun, you'll hear gas coming out, and this knob adjusts how much comes out. So, that's a little bit. We're going to set it right to 20. About right there. Next, most MIG welders are set up with a voltage or heat setting and a wire speed setting. And where you put those will depend on what your first weld or your practice welds look like. In general, this is going to be your really thin metal, and this is going to be your thicker metal. You can use 1 and 2 for sheet metal, and then 3 and 4 for your much thicker metal. So we'll start it at 2, and we'll put this about a third of the way up. And see what that looks like. The metal you're welding should be clean. The end of the welding gun should look like this, where the tip is sitting back a little bit from the cone and you can put the cone right down on the work at about a 45 degree angle for consistent results. So let's give our settings a try. Here's an up close shot of those welds. If your welds don't look like this, let's take a close look at each control so you can get a MIG welder tuned in with or without a welding settings chart. The heat or volts is pretty easy. Too low of a temperature and you won't get enough penetration in small welds. Too high of a temperature and you'll burn through. So let's check that out. We'll set it on one and then all the way to four. Again, here's a close up of the tip. setting. That's okay, but it, the weld is not that big. So let's turn it to two. And I like that. Let's go to three. And that's starting to burn through. And four. didn't burn through. So one, two, three, four. And this one I like on really thin metal, maybe rusty metal. This would work and these might burn through. So we're going to keep it on two. Let's see what the wire feed does all the way down. On this particular welder, this is the slowest wire feed speed. This, and this is the highest. So high and low. High and low. So we'll give it a try at the lowest. And this is what that looks like. It sounded a little inconsistent. And this is the highest setting. And you can see it wasn't really working that well here. It was working better here. But obviously somewhere in between would have been the best setting. 
after working with this welder for some time, it works best for sheet metal on two and wire feed speed at about 35 to 40. So we'll put it right there at 40 and I'll show you what that looks like. Here's a close-up of those welds. Last, let's see what it looks like when you run out of gas or forget to turn the gas on. You're still getting gas. That sound is the sound of getting less gas. This is what your welds will look like. And let me give you a close up. So here's your welds with gas and when it started to run out and then no gas. One last adjustment you want to be aware of is if your wire ever gets welded to the tip or gets stuck, the welder will continue to try to feed the wire and you'll end up with a bird's nest like this of wire. And this is just fake. Let me show you how that happens. The feed roller pushes against that wire and feeds it through. And this is the pressure that's put on that wire. If you have this too tight, it'll continue to feed that wire and it'll start coming out right here and turn into a bird's nest. Again, most welders come with a welding settings chart or a guide, but they're not always perfect. So you're going to have to fine tune the welder yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video on adjusting MIG welder settings with or without a guide. If you did and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.